Hello, my name is Gary Howell. I'm the founder of Morgan Walsh Consultancy. We provide IoT services to local government and also commercial companies. We're going to look at the Brighter Bins bin sensor from Smart Ends, and specifically how to add it to the Things Network version 3, and also look at some mounting options. The sensor itself is very robust in a black plastic case. It's IP67 rated and has an ultrasonic horn here. This needs to point down into the rubbish to measure the distance. The sensor also comes with a magnet, which we'll come back to later, and a mounting kit. In terms of mounting, there are two options. Rivets. The rivets are put through the holes which you pre-drilled in the bin lid and into the sensor. All four are then tightened up using a rivet gun and cut off at the top. The second mounting option is bolts and screws. The four bolts are applied from underneath the sensor, go through the top of the bin lid, which you've pre-drilled, and then apply the washer and nut. Tighten all four up. And then I would suggest cutting any surplus off the top. The ultrasonic horn, as mentioned, needs to point down into the rubbish. So normally mounted from the top, and the sensor points downwards. However, for side mount, or any other angle, the horn can be tilted up to 90 degrees, and I'll show you that now. We remove the larger of the screws out, this frees up the horn, which can be moved to the desired position. I'm going to choose 90 degrees here. And then reinsert and screw up the bolts. Now when we side mount the sensor, the sensor can now be pointed directly down, as required, into the rubbish. Adding to the Things Network version 3, we select our Applications Console. We've already created our application called BIM Monitoring. So now we're going to select End Devices and Add End Device. Here we select Manually, Over the Air Activation, and LoRaWAN version 101. Click Start. On the screen, type in your End Device ID, copy and paste your App EUI your dev UI, and type in your end device name, and click Network Layer Settings. Here select your frequency plan, for us it's Europe. Do not tick Class A or B, as it's a Class A device, and click Join Settings. Here copy and paste your app key, and click Add End Device. On the Live Data tab, we'll see that the device has indeed been created. Going back to the device, we now need to turn it on. Note on the provided magnet, there is a red dot. This represents north on the magnet, and must be placed face down on the X here on the label. When doing so, you will hear this long, loud beep three times. After this, the sensor does a self-check, and if everything's OK, you will hear these five beeps. Once that's done, the sensor will send a join request to the LoRaWAN network, which we'll see in the console shortly. There we are. And then send an initial uh, pa uh, payload, which includes the things like version number and hardware version. You will most likely then hear this long, loud sound. And this repeats 10 times. I've shortened it for convenience. This technically means that the device has failed its first transmission. However, as we've just added this device to the Things Network with no back-end system, uh, the device was no, not able to receive a response, and therefore it reported a fail. But this is not a problem. 
After this time, if the device had never been used before, the device will report its temperature and distance every half an hour for 24 hours, and then after that every 3 hours or so. If it has been used before, then the device will start reporting every 3 hours or so, and you should receive your first report within an hour. Here is an example of a data uplink message, which includes the temperature and distance. Please note that this uh, payload requires bit level manipulation in your decoder, so if you're not familiar with this, then please do get some help from a developer. Please also note that the sensor has a minimum distance requirement of 20 centimeters between the sensor and the rubbish. Therefore, in a normal street bin such as this, the sensor is mounted above the holes, and generally there is more than 20 centimeters between the sensor and the rubbish, so therefore it's not a problem. However, if mounting on a small wheelie bin, do be aware of this fact, as the rubbish is most likely going to re reach up to touch the sensor, and you would expect the reading to be zero, however it will be showing as 20 centimeters. This is not a problem as long as you're aware of it, and you can take this into account in your application. We hope you found this useful. If we can help with anything, please do get in touch. Thanks very much for watching.